Hey everyone, James here. Um, have you ever wondered or thought deeply about what is the difference between a custom field and a custom value? They're both back on the on a sub account location basis. Okay, so not at the agency level. They're at on a sub account. So in this one, we're Power Wheels parties. Okay, and this you might be used to this looking here, right? But you go to settings, you go to custom fields, custom values. They're similar named. They're in the similar place. They do a similar thing. And we're gonna talk about the difference between them right now and when you would use one or the other, okay? So we'll start out with custom fields. So custom fields is what takes your blank, your blank CRM and basically makes it your own. So in this case with Power Wheels parties, yeah, we have name, email, phone number like everyone else and every other system. But now I really wanna get in on you know, the parent's signature, the street address of the party, the, the participant child checkbox, the birthday, the, all things dealing with, with that specific business, okay? Now, here's a, little, here's a little tip, is the field key says contact. Contact, 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 all the way down. So everything, every single new custom field that you make ends up going on the contact record. So here is a contact record. Here's the normal, what you normally see, the custom fields show up on the additional info pane, okay? So there's that, there's that, there's that, child's name, Dan, okay? So um, custom fields, they go on the contact record. You can make a bunch of different kinds of custom fields. So for example, you can create text, large text, numerical, phone, monetary, all the different examples that you see here, but they all go on the contact record, okay? So now let's move over to custom values. What's a custom value? This was something kind of new to me myself when I first came over to high level. The custom value is not tied to the contact record at all, and it really doesn't have a bunch of different field types. It's really just, it's really just a piece of text. So um, for example, your YouTube channel URL, okay? So maybe lots of different businesses have lots of different YouTube channel URLs. And so then you can put a value in here. So youtube.com slash my URL, okay? So what's cool about that, custom values get tied to the, the location itself, not to a contact record. And where you might typically see these being used is gonna be on things like uh, emails and websites, okay, or funnels. So custom values really go well with snapshots. If I'm gonna clone this snapshot over and over again, all I have to do is go through, fill out my custom values, and then anywhere that I'm using them in the funnel or website or, or uh, email headers or footers, anywhere like that, they're gonna automatically be uh, inline substituted to what the value of it is, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and look at an example of that. So. What kinds of things might you want to collect? Facebook URL, Google, LinkedIn. All these things are common across lots of businesses, uh, but they're going to be specific to uh, that particular business. So this is, you know, in the case of Power Wheels parties, if I wanted to have, you know, an Oregon location, Utah, Idaho, Washington, D.C., Texas, if I wanted to have lots of different locations with different information here. So for a specific example, if I wanted to uh, display my website, uh, what, you know, hey, you should like our page. Come like my page. My Facebook page is, the old way would be you would just put, you would just come in here to each client and you would uh, have to put in the actual hard-coded uh, URL, okay? Well, the new way, the new thinking is you use a variable here. And so then when you, um, when you actually render the page, it, it inline substitutes the value that you had for that custom field. Sorry for that custom value. See, they're kind of confusing sometimes. If you, so keeping them straight. So you can see that here's the value of that custom value, but that's the key. So I put this key on the page right here. And then when it renders, it renders it as the value. Okay. So um, now also be aware, there can be some pretty cool things you can do with these you can actually um, uh, put in something like this, the day of the week, 
you can actually put in um, in the values different things like for example merge field if I put in uh, let's say right now hour okay so the value the value of that is going to be that so I'm actually it's almost going another step deeper in abstraction okay kind of computer program stuff right so let's let's call it right now hour ooh ooh let's do minute let's do actually do seconds right now second okay we'll call it right now second okay so when when this um, when that right now second gets called it's going to go and ask what it the what the value of it is and it has to evaluate that right there let's go ahead and do copy that and then let's go to our page here and let's duplicate this and let's make this a little bit easier to read okay so right now Right now, second is right now, second. So if I hit save here, hit preview, right now, second is 27. You saw it say 26. Okay. Well, if I refresh that page, 30, 35, look at that. That's pretty cool. You know how I actually use this in real life? Is I wanted to create support ticket numbers. I wanted them to for always be um, unique, right? So what I would do, I would come here and say uh, uh, support ticket number, support ticket number, and like what I did was I said, well, let's go ahead and take right now year. So right now year. The only thing right now year along with right now month if we do it in reverse order like this it's always going to be a unique um, a unique number so right now day and then let's say time to an hour minute second if I do hours minutes trying to see how this will always be unique and then second okay and I know I have a sp extra space there Okay, save that. Then support ticket number, right? So there's my new custom key. And then if I come here and I actually want to use this, let's go ahead and duplicate that. So support ticket number, support ticket number is that. And can get rid of the other one okay and actually if you want to uh, watch another video I'll, I'll put a card up on the channel right now uh, there's a whole walkthrough of how to make a, a support portal in high level with just just out of the box with high level you don't have to pay for anything it's just you just build it in high level it's pretty pretty cool okay so let's save that and now when I generate a support ticket number there it is there's my unique number you can see there's the year the month the day time seconds right okay oh but someone else just generated a new support ticket number let's go ahead and see so it was ending in 7614 there you go 
7632. Isn't that slick? I love it. So um, again, all you got to remember is custom fields go on the contact record. Okay, they're used in they're used on the contact for, for things specific to your business for that particular business. They go on the contact record. Custom values, those typically go on web pages. Uh, they go in email, email footers, you know, like my Facebook page, like my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, etc. Um, and then, uh, yeah, those are the, the two things. And then also custom values typically are used with snapshots. So if you're in the business of cloning a snapshot over and over and over again, and you want to, um, and you want to quickly go through and, um, change out what's unique to that business, right? So all of their custom stuff here. And actually I don't know exactly how to populate these, um, cause these are in back on the agency side of things. That's another mental gymnastics. I got to figure out sometime later. But um, yes, and I'll just leave you with this too. I have another video, which is how to um, update custom values um, from a form. So imagine they just checked out. Well, you would like to ask them all these questions. So I'll put another link to basically you say, hey, uh, go ahead and put in, you know, what is your Facebook page? So what is your Facebook page URL, right? And then, so for that other business, it's that. So then when you hit submit, then it automatically takes that, sticks it into the custom value. Then when you refresh the page, uh, it has the new value in there. So I have a, I have a video uh, for that. Um, if you are watching this, you're probably an advanced high level user. And I just want you to know that I also have an upgrade offer for you. If you want to upgrade to the SAS mode, I'll leave um, here. I have a video as well. It's called what you get on the 497 plan okay you get some extra stuff with my link i'll see if i can find the video here uh right here why upgrade All right here is um a good 20 minutes of me going through in depth why did i upgrade what do you get uh and so watch that if you're interested in upgrading it's well worth it and i'll see you in the next video take care Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.